Hi, I want to talk to you today about the importance of people over process and agile. My name is Michael Sahoda. I'm a certified scrum coach and I work as a catalyst helping organizations find success through agile by valuing people. The Agile Manifesto talks about a lot of things. The first and most important one is individuals and interactions over pros and tools. This is actually really, if we think about it, the most important bit and everything else in the manifesto can be derived from this. When we write this, individuals interactions over processes and tools, we can start simplifying it. Well, individual interactions, that's really all about people and process that governs everything pretty much. So really we can simplify this to people over process, a good motto for making your world successful. If we take a step further of simplifying this, we created the whole Heart of Manifesto early in 2004. It's got one value statement. We value people, period. That's the most important thing. If we do that, amazing things will follow. It's not, this is not soft, fluffy bunny stuff. This is the hard stuff that makes things work. Semco has proof. 20% annual growth for the last three decades comes from valuing people. There's two books and an awesome video explaining how this works. We want to stop weaponizing Agile. When we start having Agile initiatives, we say, oh, you're not Agile. Whoosh, crack the whip. We have teams going, oh, leave us alone. You can't ask us what to do. We're Agile. We're, you can't interrupt the sprint. Um, so, yeah, we want to stop weaponizing Agile. Instead, we want to focus on what this is really all about. And Agile practices and doing Agile is very different from the Agile mindset or being Agile. So we want to be focused on really the Agile mindset, the being Agile. This is all about valuing people. This is the key towards success. So really, what I encourage everyone to do is stop Agile initiatives. They tend to lead to weaponization, and they tend to lead us away from valuing people. That if we come back to the Agile manifesto of people over process, we need to stop focusing on processes. Instead, we need to start valuing people. We need to think about, oh, if I want to engage the hearts and minds of people, how do I do that? How do I even begin to start a change program to get them to bring their best every day that they show up in the building? Usual corporate environments like this, trust no one, fear, cover your ass, feeling that we're alone. And I call this organizational debt. This is the stuff, and hopefully your organization's not as bad as the one depicted here, but elements of this show up. The alternative is safety. We can create environments where people feel safe, protected, where they know they're okay. And when we have safety, so many beautiful things can emerge. The other important thing is trust. This person lower down is fully trusting the person above to make sure they're okay, to make sure that they're fully safe. And we need to build our ability to trust one another so that we can actually have environments that are very valuable for us to be in and successful. The other thing that this leads to is authentic connection, creating communities where people feel like they belong, where we feel that people around us see us as, see us as valuable human beings and value us. In order to do this, we need to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is what allows the leader to say, hey, we need to figure this out together. I don't have all the answers. Or the worker to say, hey, I need help with this. I don't, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing here. When we see vulnerability in others, we call it courage. But when we see it in ourselves, we call it weakness. And I've got two slides on vulnerability because this is the heart of the matter. That by being vulnerable, we can create environments that are very valuable. 
very safe for all of us. We start with trust. This leads to safety. Safety allows us to be vulnerable and that allows us to show us who we really are. And I call this the vast model, vulnerability, authentic connection, safety, and trust. And this is what can amplify and leverage success in your organization. So you can check in with yourself. How do you feel at work? Do you feel like you have high trust and safety? Or do you feel fear and lack of trust? Just check in with a moment with yourself. Valuing people means valuing all the people. So if you have someone who isn't working out, it means coaching them, help it so that they actually work out and don't take everyone else out. Otherwise, you need to have them exit the building and help them do so in a compassionate way. Sometimes that's called firing. That's part of valuing people. And importantly, we need to change our organizational systems so that they support people for being free, for having safety, for bringing their best every day. Reinventing Organizations by Frederick Lelou is a great uh, compelling example of how some organizations do this. And I encourage you all to read it. So thanks. I hope you have a sense of what it means to value people over process and are inspired to take this back to your workplace, to your colleagues, to think about what can you be doing each and every day to value those around you as people. Thank you.